hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for tuning in today and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and be part of this family and don't forget to click the bell so that you can get notified whenever i post a video so today i'm going to talk to you guys about one of the most beautiful things that happened to me when i became a born again christian and that is how did i receive the gift of tongues And speaking in tongues is one of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit that we see in Acts chapter 2 and this is what the Bible says in Acts chapter 2 verse 2 and it says when the day of Pentecost came they were all together in one place suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. So this was the first manifestation of the power of the Spirit of God, the ability to speak in unknown tongues. So first time when I got born again, I think I've mentioned more than a thousand times that I used to read the Word of God, I used to go to a church, except that they were not preaching Christ. So the gift of tongues was not a reality to me. I really didn't think we really need to speak in tongues and I didn't even know what is the importance of speaking in tongues and in fact I didn't even understand the meaning of the verse and the, the meaning of speaking in tongues. Like everybody else, first thing that I experienced when I got born again was the supernatural love of God. So much love than I had ever experienced before, not even from my parents, not even from my friends, or from any person who has ever confessed to love me before. So in those early days of um, my walk with Christ, I then decided that I don't want to be in a relationship. Not because being in a relationship was a sin, I, of course God had given me a revelation of what does it mean to be in a relationship I then decided that okay God I don't want to be in a relationship for now I just want to know you more I want to focus on my relationship with you and I feel like that's the most important thing that's the first step that we have to go through first working on our relationship with God before getting into any relationship I'm spoke I'm speaking about romantic relationships so that decision made me notice a major change in my life so for those early years of my walk with Christ, I noticed that I was growing spiritually and I was growing so faster in the things of God. In those, in those years, I was just focusing on my relationship with God, getting to know uh, the will of God, getting to know what was His will over my life, getting to just know Christ personally. Who is Jesus and what does He love, what doesn't He love? Because the Bible tells us that we should have the mind of Christ. So how can we have the mind of someone that we don't even know? So for me personally, that was very important to not be in a relationship, not because I didn't want to be in a relationship. I knew for sure that I want to be in a relationship and I want to be married one day. But at that time i felt okay this is the time for me to just focus on my walk with christ so i grew spiritually and i just witnessed the manifestation of of god and the manifestation of the holy spirit in my life and before i continue i just want to read a scripture from colossians chapter 1 and it's colossians chapter 1 verse 9 to 10 and here the bible says so we have not stopped praying for you since we first heard about you we ask god to give you complete knowledge of his will so that's one of the things that i was praying for in my early days of walking with christ and in my days of singleness i was praying that i may know god's will 
in order for us to be successful in our walk with Christ and to know his will and to be able to do his will, we need to have the gift of the word of knowledge to know the will of God and to align our desires with his desires. And when it continues, it says, and to give you spiritual wisdom and understanding. And I'm not saying that a relationship blocks your growth, your spiritual growth. But then our days of singleness are very important because that's where you get to discover who God is and even to discover who you are and what he has called you to be. And continuing, it says, then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord. That's why it is very important to start first building a relationship with God before building a relationship with people. And he continues to say, and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. So in those days, I was like, God, I just want to know you better. I want to grow spiritually. I desire the spiritual gifts. Until one day when I was with my friend, I really, the gift of tongues was not that much of a reality to me. So when I was sitting with my best friend, uh, who was born again before me, she told me, Lerata, you know you're growing so fast spiritually nowadays and God is using you more than I had ever imagined while we were friends and she was like you know what i don't think this year will end without you telling me that you've received the gift of of tongues and i was like okay the gift of tongues what's that and uh, after that i went home and when i got home i just went to the internet search scriptures um about the gift of tongues and i was like god what is what is tongues i really don't know what is this and are they really important i didn't think tongues are important i thought tongues are for specific people or specific individuals but the gift of tongues is a promise to everyone the reason why most of us we that we end up not receiving them is because uh first of all is because of doubt lack of faith and again um, thinking that it's meant for specific people and the gift of tongues is meant for everyone and I was so fascinated by what I found out about the importance of tongues and this is what the Bible says it's in 1st Corinthians chapter 14 verse 2 and it says for anyone who speaks in tongues does not speak to people but to God and I was like oh so there's a way of speaking to God directly and I like the fact that you know, when you speak in unknown tongues, it's difficult for the devil to even figure out what you're praying for. And that is why most of the times, tongues unlock the closed doors. It unlocks and releases the things that no man could have ever thought you would ever receive in your life. So, T.D. Jake says, it's like launching a bomb and going undetected by the enemy. You can just imagine what damage you would do to the enemy. And he continues to say, indeed, no one understands them, but they utter mysteries by the spirit. Tongues are a mystery to the enemy and no devil can even understand them. And here's the most important fact about tongues. In verse 4 it says, anyone who speaks in tongues edifies themselves. We need tongues for personal edification. We need to be edified as children of God. And we can't only rely on people just to, to, to grow spiritually and, and to be edified. We need to also rely on the Spirit of God. And when we rely on Him, He gives us the ability to speak in unknown tongues and the ability to grow spiritually and to be edified. So after discovering this, I was like, God, I, I need this in my life, God. I, I desire this, the, the gift of tongues. Then I prayed about them. I prayed, I prayed, and I was like, God, please give me the gift of tongues. Give me the gift of tongues. And I was so, for me, when I prayed to God about my desires, I just open up. I tell him as it is. As it comes in my mind, that's how I tell God. Because I believe that he knows what's in my mind. So if I do not even say it and I pretend like that's not what I'm thinking, then I'm lying to myself and I'm lying to him. So after praying and praying for the gift of tongues, one day I went to church and when I went to church, this other pastor came and then this pastor was saying that, okay, there are people who have been praying for 
uh, the gift of tongues. And right now, as you begin to, as the worship team begins to worship and you begin to pray, God is going to give you the ability to speak in tongues. And just believe, have faith, and speak as the Spirit of God leads you. So at that time, I was like, okay, that cannot be me. So as we were praying, we were praying, and I witnessed people like breaking down in, in tongues and praying and praying mightily. And at that time, I, I, I remember there were some unknown words that were in my, that came into my my spirit at that time i was like okay what's that i i really cannot say this and what came into my mind and which is something that stops most children of god from speaking in tongues is that first of all i thought okay people will think i'm i'm just speaking on my own and people will think that i am really lying and all those kind of things so i was like no i cannot repeat this because i don't know where it comes from okay secondly i was like definitely i cannot I, it, it, it's not possible. I cannot be able to speak in tongues when there are a lot of people who have been born again for a long time and yet they are not speaking in tongues. So who am I? I just got born again. And then I was like, no, 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 I cannot speak in tongues. So I kept on doubting and that day, guys, unfortunately, I went back to my room had not spoken in tongues. And I could have noticed that that was the Spirit of God and I could have just let go of doubt and just speak as he leads me then one day again i went to church again and when we went to church we were doing intercession so this the service was mainly about prayer that day because the pastor didn't preach that much so so during prayer i just prayed silently and i was like god please i've been praying for the gift of tongues please god i pray that i may also receive it as well so after that i just continued praying and i was just standing like this and waiting on the spirit of god to come upon me but nothing happened and i was like oh my god am i really gonna receive these tongues but at that time when i was silent when i had stopped praying and i just remained silent those words again were thrown in my spirit again i i i just i just felt them i just you know as if like i was thinking of something in my mind but then I knew that this is not from me because I cannot think of this I don't even know what this means and then I remember one sister once told me that you know what whenever the words come to you just utter them and the moment I heard those words I repeated them so I was doubting and I was just saying them silently and I think there were three words and the moment I uttered them after uttering all those three words immediately I felt the power of God falling upon me I don't know I couldn't I couldn't stand up straight at that time I just felt so pressed to the ground I couldn't and I couldn't stop speaking in tongues I was just speaking in unknown tongues I was just in tears oh my god but then I don't know I was just so shocked at the same time that is this me and that's how I received the gift of tongues by just uh, believing in by just believing that you know what tongues are for everyone they are promised they are a promise for everyone and Holy Spirit is a promise to everyone and we just need to believe in him and whenever he leads us to speak we should speak because tongues are for our own edification and the moment i started speaking in tongues that's when i started noticing that i was growing and growing into other gifts and boldness and i also started noticing that i had boldness to approach a person and speak about christ you know we all know how how difficult it is and how we feel nervous whenever we think of going to preach um to someone about christ but at that time from that time onwards I started experiencing uh, the, the manifestation of the Spirit of God in my life. He started teaching me things and I also had the boldness to speak about Christ to non-believers. And that's where my video will end for today. See you again next time. Remember to come back on Saturday. Bye bye.